honest, what I would wear to the inaugural ball was the last thing on my mind. In fact, by the time I got around to thinking about my wardrobe choice, poor Hervé was only given two weeks to design and produce this couture piece. I never met her before. And it was 10 days before inauguration. I received a phone call at eight o'clock in the morning in my PG, and uh, I had to deliver sketches at four o'clock in the afternoon, and I was not prepared for that. It was around noon and I touched this for good luck and I said, please, please, I was begging for the muse to come and eventually they came because I remember I gave, um, I believe it was six options. When she saw the sketches, she said, well, what is appealing with you is that I will be able to have something specifically made for a specific occasion. Would you like to do that? And I said, absolutely. For me, it was a big honor to dress the first lady this time under my name. We had never worked together before, but I knew of his stellar reputation and wanted to work with someone who would do more than just design a dress. The day before inauguration, I was at the White House. We were doing hair and makeup, and the First Lady, she looked at me and said, Hervé, do you know that tomorrow your name will be all over the news? I didn't realize the scale until suddenly my phone was going ballistic. I wanted someone who would be willing to collaborate with me, and Hervé exceeded my expectations. I was so pleased with our end result, and it is now my hope that this piece is one of the many great beginnings to our family's history here in Washington, D.C. The President, Baron, and I love living here, and we are so honored to represent this country. I'm so honored and grateful to become part of this history, and thank you all for being here with me today. God bless you, and God bless the United States of America. Thank you.